a generation that did not prepare its heart and whose spirit was not faithful. We must learn from the past and imitating the faith and avoiding the foolishness of the wicked. If we are to experience God's goodness and fullness, saints of God. The first John 2 19 says this they went out from us because they really were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have remained with us. But they went out so that they would not be shown that they were all not of us. True faith always has the quality of premise and the one that they endure to the end are really saved. The ones that endure to the end are really saved. The ones that endure to the end that are really saved. Anybody that have defected, anybody that have apostatized, never been saved. How can you say that, preacher? Look at some of your family that's been saved, that died saved. Grandma has been saved a long time. Mama was saved a long time. Yeah. We ain't talking about perfect people because I'm one in the flesh. You can't, you can't live to fleshly perfection, not in the flesh, but in the spirit. The, the spirit perfects us. It brings us to a place of maturity, not in the place of flawlessness and silliness, no. But it brings us to a place of maturity as we grow. How do you think these people died in the faith? You can just think about off the top of your cup of some people, some of your loved ones, some of your friends that died in the faith. That was saved for a long time. Yeah. So anybody that have defected or have apostatized or have given away to seducing spirits and have abandoned the truth of God was never saved. They still abide the dogs. They was never saved. Because you can't tell me. You cannot tell me. Nobody can't convince me. I don't care how many books they got. You can't convince me that same power had, he has supreme power to trump God's saving work in the heart of a true believer. Go. Yeah. So, then that's the case, then he might have changed the world. No. Once you say, and another thing, let me say this, let me help somebody. A demon cannot fully possess a real born again sincere believer. No. No. We can be used by Satan, influenced by Satan. How do you know that? Go to Matthew chapter 16. When God, when Jesus was speaking to Peter, and Peter was, was telling him, forbid these things, Lord, that they don't happen to you. When Jesus was telling him, he got to go away. Go back and read it in your own leisure. And he said, Satan, get ye behind me, for you mind the things of man, but not the things of God. Because he was being a mouthpiece for Satan. So you can be influenced by Satan, but you can't be demonically possessed by Satan. If you're demonically possessed by Satan, chances are your, your salvation was sincere. Amen. Because a true, born again believer cannot be fully possessed by the devil. Amen. No. No. How his, how his power will override God's power. He got power, but not to that extent. Let us stand and say to God. Some people are scared to say it, but it's the truth. See, when you, the Bible says, and he shall know the truth. John 8, 31, and he shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Yeah. Yeah. He shall know the truth. You shall know the truth. Yeah. Then he said in verse 30, he said, if you are my disciples, if you abide in my word continuously, if you abide in my word, then you are my disciples. If you remain. See, that's how you know the people that are really not his disciples, because they don't remain. They don't stay.